What's going on guys, it's your boy Hero, and today we're gonna to be talking about the new patches that got added to Black Desert Online and the Korean version as of last night. The new patch brought us a Ranger buff, as well as some changes to the way boss loots works and some changes to the way AP will be working from now on. So there's very there's a lot of interesting things to go here. And not only that, but we're also gotta talk about Lan, which I will say for the end because I got a lot of stuff I need to say about her. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is that the damage that characters with 251 or more AP deal has increased. So if you're at 250 to 256 AP, you will deal 1.5% more damage. 257 to 259, you will deal 2%, 2.6% more damage. 260 AP and more, you will deal 3.5% more damage. 261 to 262 AP, you will deal 4.5% more damage. 263 AP, you will deal 5% more damage. 264 to 266 AP, 5.7% more damage. 267 to 268 AP will be 6.3% more damage. And 269 and over will get you 7.2% more damage. So this is huge for the people who want to stack AP, people who want to be AP monkeys like myself. You get a lot more benefit from doing it now. It was already good before, but now it's crazy. Um, for the people who can reach these thresholds, it's definitely going to motivate you to keep wanting to go and keep wanting to press a little bit higher. Say you got 262 AP, you're going to want to get another AP so you get 0.5% more damage, you know. It's going to be huge for PvP players um, and um, players who want to get their AP up as high as possible. I definitely love this. This is one of the my most favorite things that have come from any patch um, in, a, in a very long time. So I'm very happy to see this with my AP monkey ass. Uh, yeah, AP monkeys rejoice. This is a big buff for us. Um, another thing we're going to talk about is that they finally fixed uh, or supposedly fixed issues where when you try to use emergency escape, aka V, you sometimes won't be able to use it if you're in a grab, you might get stuck and stuff like that. So it seems like with this patch, they may have kind of kind of finally fixed emergency escape. I don't believe it because emergency escape has been like this since the beginning of the game. So it really, really boggles my mind that they finally would have fixed it by now, unless they just finally figured out how to do it after three years of it being out in Korea. Maybe they did. We'll see. Hopefully they did because that'll be very nice to be able to use your emergency escape when you need to use it. That's what it's there for. You know, you can't, I know you guys have tried to use your emergency escape escape and it doesn't work. And I can't tell you how many times this happened to me. It's a pain in the ass. So yeah, hopefully they actually fix it so now let's talk about ranger so ranger has gotten a similar buff to ninjas last time but what's really big about ranger is that a lot of her ranged abilities got increased in range so that's very big she can use her range abilities from a further distance now without having to worry about being cc so them not having protections is a little bit less of an issue ranger is still gonna be in the issues gonna still have the issues that she's always had but this does help alleviate a lot of that especially with the absolute skills that they have in korea when that comes out in na who knows where ranger will be but it's really good that they are kind of buffing these classes slowly but incrementally i would prefer that if they would nerf the overperforming classes rather than buffing the underperforming classes because there are a lot more over underperforming classes than there are overperforming classes so it doesn't really make sense but hey if that's what they want to do that's what they want to do i'm fine with that as long as they're doing something hey i can't really complain other than that there's just a few uh little tweaks done to all the other classes you guys can check that out yourself i'm not going to waste everyone's time with that but i do want to talk about that there's going to be a a new quest that allows everyone to get a free maid so we just got a free maid yesterday we're going to get another free maid coming up soon that's awesome we also are going to get uh the book of combat will also give skill exp now that's awesome as well 30 shikatu sales will get you a kudum box i wouldn't recommend doing it but hey it's an option for you there if you want to do it do what you got to do also there it appears they're going to be removing the requirement to have master to trade in order to use the desert buff it seems like it's going to be a requirement to be at artisan one in order to receive the desert trading buff so that's going to be really good for the people that only have artisan one or or you know nearby that and it's going to really suck for the people who grind it all the way to master two like myself but hey everyone's going to be able to use the crate system and the trading system and get the desert buff in valencia to do their trade routes now because artisan one is very easy to get so i 
am happy with this. Uh, it's a very good change uh, for the players who don't have the time or the patience to go through all the struggles to get to Master 2 trading in order to get all that money. So that's very good for you guys of passive life skills and things like that. Definitely might want to look into that. Now, another big thing we have to talk about is world bosses. Basically, what's happening right now with world bosses is, say, for example, if a boss spawns, most people just go to the most populated channel first, and then they try to change channel to the next channel. And after they kill it a second time, they might try to get a third channel. The way bosses are going to work now is if a boss doesn't lose 30 percent of its health within 15 minutes, it will despawn. So this is going to make it a lot harder for people to switch channels uh, to, to get to multiple bosses if that boss is not already below 30 um, 70 percent health it lost 30 percent of its health they will be kind of screwed so it's kind of kind of screws up boss farming for some people but on the plus side the players who are in the upper 80 percent of the participants will be able to loot the world bosses so pretty much you have a guaranteed loot drop if you are in the upper 80 percent so pretty much if there are 100 people there if you are in 80th place you will be able to get loot if you're in 80th place on the dps chart so that's also very good to guarantee loot because before i believe it was whoever was 40th who had guaranteed loot and everything under that was rng if you got it or not if you weren't in the top 40 so now it being in the top 80 is pretty much guaranteed you will get some kind of loot if you go to a boss so that's very good especially for those who use uh, boss alts and don't go to bosses on their mains and things like that so they don't have as much ap very good um very good buff um i'm glad to see that so other than that there were just some pretty much basic issues that got solved but other than that we're going to talk about land now now land has received lukewarm reception not only in the west but also in korea people are not very excited for land and i think pearl abyss has noticed this more specifically pearl abyss's head director creative director for black desert online noticed this and i believe that land will be the last class if not the class that comes out immediately after her will be the last class that we see in a long time because the reception for classes has been on a steady decline ever since striker mystic was not highly received and land is even worse than what mystic was there's not much hype around her and don't come in the comments telling me i can't wait for land i'm happy that you do think that she looks cool i'm happy that you're interested in playing her but i'm speaking in the majority sense here for the most part people are not as excited for land as they were for striker as they were for dark knight it's not even remotely close and that's because of in my opinion oversaturation of classes black desert is a game that i believe that should be releasing maybe one new class a year rather than three or four i don't believe that this game is is really in a situation where new classes are a priority or should be a priority and i pretty much stated this a while ago when they first announced well when i first saw mystic was coming out before they even announced her that there may be too many classes coming out too fast and a lot of people bashed me for that go figure and now i see a lot of people starting to understand where i was coming from back then and starting to agree with that sentiment even if they didn't necessarily see my video they still agree that this game is just getting too many classes at, at, at a too rapid a pace and it's starting to wear wear people out people want more content people want fixing the content that's currently going on now and i believe the head director of black Girls online understands this from the last interview he had i did make a video about that if you guys want to check it out uh, i do believe that he understands that so hopefully we will be seeing less classes and more content coming soon especially after the reception of land by the way it's being pronounced land on these translations that's why i'm not calling it ran anymore i think ran is fucking retarded i think land makes a lot more sense so we're just gonna go with land hopefully that's what the name is but yeah guys i do want to thank you guys for watching i'll leave a link in the description to the past notes as always you guys can check it out uh it's your boy hero make sure you guys check out my patreon make sure you guys subscribe if you guys want to support my channel please do whatever you can to support my channel if you enjoy my content thank you guys so much for watching this is boy here i'll see you guys next time peace